Grahamstown is now home to South Africa's first green museum. The new National English Literary Museum, or the Nelm, is a combination of beautiful gardens, including a rooftop garden, modern architecture, and the home of a collection of literature by local authors. Basil Mills is the garden's tour guide. He explains further about the Nelm. And what we're trying to do is show you the poetry of the buildings as well as the collection that we have out here at this museum and also linking with nature. A lot of the authors and writers have written about Africa, its harshness, its type of terrain, the type of people we have and the myths and the legends. And that's a nice link So, because the kids can come out here and be inspired by uh, seeing what these authors wrote about and what they felt about Africa and also the, the spirit of Africa is right here. The Nelm Gardens are also an educational space. School tours can explore the gardens while learning more about the Eastern Cape's history and culture through the plants. The thorn tree is fascinating. We call that the sweet thorn, and little ants live inside there. And they protect the, the actual thorn tree too from other uh, insects that might damage it and also wild animals. And the thorn tree itself is best known for our brine, but it's also used by the African folks uh, for medicine purposes and also uh, the, the gum is used in medicine and also for kids to eat. Uh, we use the bark for making ropes and there's so many other uses that we can get out of that uh, the thorn tree. It is a nice place for kids to come here and learn about what the Sumgormas uh, got or the medicines of the old days, the Khoi Khoi people got hold of and they used and sat around and healed themselves and also used it part of their ceremonies and also um, the way they, they lived in those days, the, the shelters they built, and then from there progressing up to the modern architecture of today. So this is a place of great healing and also for the spirits, so of people can come in here and enjoy what we have of, of actually of the bush, and in that way hopefully inspire them to do further writings or plays or any um, ideas that they would have of Africa. The rooftop garden acting as a natural filter and watered by an underground spring, the garden should be self-maintaining by the end of the year. All of the Nelms gardens will be open to the public when the museum officially opens in the upcoming months of 2017. This is Lucy Grinker reporting for RUTV, Grahamstown.